welcome to the class today we'll be studying about the storage security domains as we know that the storage devices when they are connected to the network they are going to increase the risk level now as this risk is going to increase then obviously we are going to face a lot of threats now when these threats are been there we need to avoid it now what are those access points or the path through which the attacker is trying to create a threat so it can be classified into the three domains the first one is the application the first one is application second one is management and the third one is backup replication and the archive now when we want to uh, secure uh, these networks we need to identify what are those existing threats and in which domain they are going to be classified and based on that what are the services provided by them so mainly the pr services provided is the first one is availability of the data second is confidentiality third one is integrity and accountability so these services are uh, going to be in into the problem so we need to make sure that these are all being protected now you can check in this figure we are been having the data storage having the application access where the user is trying to access this one the storage network and we are having the management access and the third one is backup and archival so this is all for the data storage if in case there is any one problem or a threat uh, either in the application access or from the management the data will be compromised so because of this because of which the services might be affected so moving on to the next one is now we shall see how we can secure the application or domain now you can check in this a figure that there is a hypervisor the host a is been there the host b where host a is allowed to access the volumes of the v1 and host b is allowed to access the volumes of a v2 now here the user a might spoof the address or the identity of the b and tries to access the volumes of the b right or it might be that the unauthorized host is trying to access this network and trying to get uh, the applications or the directly the data can even be uh, taken from the directly storage array so we need to avoid this one because of which there are so many problems being created now let's see that how we can control through the application domain the first one is uh, controlling the user access to the data whenever the application i am using then obviously it is the data the user is trying to use it so how do we control this one the first one is the host authentication and the second one is authorization so the host authentication and the authorization are the two ways we can control the access to the data so we have been using <coughs> the various um, protocols for the purpose of the host authentication the first one is challenge handshake authentication protocol second one is the fiber channel security protocol third one is ipsec so these are used based on the devices that you are using to store the data zoning and lu and masking are being used for the purpose of the the devices that you are using that these are being used only for the purpose of the networking devices and in the administrative control we are looking at the security policies and the standards and the regular auditing has to be done so that the data can be accessed and it can be managed properly the next one is protecting the storage infrastructure as we all know that we need to protect the infrastructure from the unauthorized access because of which the data can be compromised that means the data there will be a problem with the data integrity the denial of the services and even the availability of the data becomes very difficult so these all things have to be kept into the has to be taken into the consideration 
and it has to be implemented so this usually the security controls will fall into two categories the first one is the network infrastructure integrity and the second one is the storage network encryption so whenever we are using the devices we have to make sure that the the devices are being properly authorized and then they are being added into the network without any proper authorization the devices should not be added the one of the example they have been taking is a role based control access in which the administrator is trying to authorize or give the privileges to the users based on their roles so for example if the role of a person is to create the accounts then he should not be given uh, access to use their accounts that means he should be denied from using their accounts so the role based access control is uh, one of the method it is been used to protect the storage infrastructure the next one is the data encryption in this data encryption we need to encrypt the data that is been transferring between the devices uh, so we need to have the antivirus checks we need to make sure what are the file extension being used and in the uh, in the content addressed storage they are using mt5 and uh, sha that is secure hash algorithm 256 so these are being used to maintain the data integrity moving on to the next topic is securing the management access domain so how do we try to monitor uh, provision or manage the storage uh, resources that are allocated within every device now you can check that within the ip network there is a unauthorized identity uh, host who is trying to access this network we need to stop this one right there might be they are trying to uh, get the access either from the remote storage or the main storage or even from these production hosts so we need to stop this one so how can it be stopped the first one is providing the controlling administrative access in which we are looking into the administrative access regulation uh, using the various auditing techniques uh, provide the access control and uh, we are using uh, the lightweight directory access protocol and the security information management as we all know that in the these are all being used to maintain the data integrity right so this is how we can control the access uh, of the data and we need to even protect the infrastructure so we need to use the ip routers and ethernet switches so that we can restrict the traffic from particular devices and we can uh, and we have to make sure that the unused network de uh, devices or the services they should be disabled from the storage network if in case uh, a user or uh, from the organization if the device is being thrown away and if still once it is being used it the user may or the attacker may able to get all the data he may be in a situation to retrieve the data so we need to avoid all those devices totally we have to uh, break down the devices which are not being used so this is another way to control the data moving on to the next one is securing the backup replication and the archival so in this uh, diagram you can see that from the storage devices that is the backup device the attacker is trying to get the data or they are using the unauthorized uh, the host or the attacker trying to access from the network where the data is moving from the storage array from one storage array to the another storage array they are trying to spoof using the network itself so this is the way we the how the data can be stolen and we need to avoid uh, this one so the best ways we can avoid it by using the uh, backup topology uh, sorry the backups and uh, need to maintain the confidentiality so this is how we can secure the data whenever it is moved from one devices to the another device thank you